It has been a relatively short rise to the top for the Atlas Prep Boys soccer team. The varsity program has only been around for four years, but the Griffins have already shown they are a force to be reckoned with. Our schedule is a little bit weaker, you know, so it's good to get some of these tougher teams and, uh, you know, really see what it's, it's like to get deep into the playoffs. And, uh, you know, we've known the whole year that we've had the skill for it. Um, you know, I think we just we haven't had the exposure, and I think this is great exposure for us. And I think we're ready for the next step. This is a good experience. We lost in this round last year, and our main goal since the beginning of the season was to go all the way full, be further into the playoffs than ever. They achieved that goal. Now their sights are set on the biggest prize. And if that reality is going to take place, there's a good chance the winner will come off the foot of Lamar Nisbeth, the state leader in goals and points. Lamar is a force. Physicality is a huge thing, uh, but yeah, he just, his soccer IQ is just through the roof. I mean, he's smart, he's, uh, you know, knows how to play the ball, his positional awareness, body awareness is great. I mean, he's just, he's a whole package. We expect a hat trick from Lamario every game. He's a brilliant player. And he hasn't disappointed, averaging just under three goals per game this season. Originally at the, in the summer, my goal was to get 40 goals. And I told everybody and they didn't believe me, so I had to prove them wrong. And now I'm almost at 50, so I'm exceeding my goal, so I'm happy about that. Uh, he's phenomenal, yeah, he's, he's unstoppable. And you know, I mean, we'll, we'll have people scout us and they'll, they'll see him play and you know, it doesn't really matter. So it's, it's cool to see and you'll hit a double team, they'll have three guys on him and uh, he'll still score, so that's pretty cool. But this is a team game and the Griffins have plenty of weapons, including Luis Vega, who is the top assist man in the state as well. We're full of a team that of finishers. It's gonna take a lot of us to step it up and for our offense and our defense to be more solid and so we can score more goals and prevent more goals. That sounds like a winning combination to me. In Colorado Springs, for Colorado Prep Spotlight, I'm Jason Carter.